materials needed. Q-tips. Tweezers. Scrub brush. Dirty water fountain. Okay, start by taking it apart. Take the top off. old filter out. Take the bottom out. There should be another filter. Pop that out. The motor. pop straight out unless it's being difficult disgusting mess This end hang. You don't want to get it wet. And then this entire motor assembly comes apart. When you've done it a couple of times, this will get easier. It should just push right off. And sorry, I had to get a stand. Anyway, this should pop right off. There will be a couple of pieces. The rubber feet which just pull straight out. The piece that controls the flow. The piece that has a filter. And then with tweezers to actually pull the magnet out and then you will clean this whole thing I like to just throw everything in the bottom put it in the sink some soap. And then just loosely reassemble. Don't snap it all together, just let it sit. And if this isn't bad, just run it through some hot water, don't get this soapy. Or if it's really bad, just replace it. Okay, it's been soaking now for about 20 minutes. And a couple things I wanted to show you. This spongy, plastic spongy thing. It can get pretty gunked up. It's kind of hard to see, but in this area right here, it's really disgusting and you really can't even see through it. So that has to be really scrubbed out. And the easiest way to do it is just like you would clothes. Just rub it together. It kind of hurts a little bit because this is plastic. But generally, that gets rid of the gunk. If it doesn't, try soaking it in some vinegar. I haven't yet found a place where you can buy replacement 
these replacement filters. Just make sure you rinse it out really, really well. You do not want soap in cat's water. Piece of hair stuck in it. Sometimes, if you hold it up to the light, it helps you to really be able to see through it. And I've held this up to the light now. I've gotten gunk inside of it and it is perfectly clean and you can see through it which you couldn't before so I'm trying to get that in focus all right the rest I'll only get through the, the parts that really need to be scrubbed with the, the Q-tip. You got to get down inside of this because it will collect gunk in these areas and especially around any posts. Okay, any posts and in any corners and crevices so that's that piece and then I would just scrub the rest of it um, this piece make sure you get up inside of the hole and again in any corners um, especially in this part in here and then just scrub the rest of it normally inside this piece here for the motor get that really well inside and this piece where the water actually shoots out of and it controls the water flow just get inside of that really well because that can get pretty gunked up too. I know it's not the best video. And then as far as the motor goes, inside where you put the um, the magnet, you stick your q-tip down inside of there and just really get down inside of that and I just clean out all the tiny spots and inside of your main base there's going to be I know your machine is different <clears throat> but there's going to be little spots like this here these little little spots in here just collect all kinds of gunk and around here so I always just make sure to clean around those really well with a q-tip because they're kind of hard to get to any other way That's it for cleaning. As far as cleaning the big main pieces, it's really just not difficult at all. Just give it a good scrub, make sure there's no stray fur. There are a lot of parts to clean. The, uh, 
parts that stick out of the water. They can be pretty easy to clean. Just make sure you clean those smaller spots with the Q-tip. Get inside anything you can, or use a smaller scrub brush. I do have a smaller one, but and the actual motor itself, you just scrub the outside of it. Make sure though when you rinse, I always scrub the cord up to the gasket. Make sure when you rinse, there's a little hole where the cord comes out. Just make sure it gets good and rinsed up in there because that piece goes all the way back in and it will hold on to the soap. And if you have hard water, you can soak this entire thing in vinegar for as long as you need. But I'm going to finish cleaning and then I'll show you putting it back together. I forgot to mention a little part that needs to be cleaned with the um, Q-tip. And that's inside of this magnet. You can't get anything down inside of the tiny little hole in the end, on either end, but you can clean around these pieces that stick out. And then I can usually stick just the tip of the Q-tip down inside of this hole. What I usually do is try and run a good stream of water through the hole the best that I can. Just to clean out that piece. And when you're done, you will have a good pile of stuff to put back together. So you've got your magnet, magnet, the feet, the suction feet. The other parts of the um, the motor, an extra filter, and um, a two-sided charcoal filter. Okay, now that everything is, the outer parts are dried. I'll clean the hole and dry in there. So the first thing you'll do is you will put your motor back together. So you start with the main piece. And you put your magnet back in the hole. It'll just snap in. And in case my hand was in the way, I'll make sure it wasn't. Pretty much you just get it close. It'll just suck it right in because it's a magnet. And then you fit this piece in and make sure your, your wheel is turned to control your flow of water. And put the suction cup feet, there you go, you can see the end of that. And just slide the suction cup feet back into it. and fit the whole contraption back together and it just snaps in and I always move my water control so that it's the most open it can be and feed your cord if you have something like that gasket back on, it just pushes in, and for this, 
the water spout here goes up into the machine. You'll know which way yours goes. An extra filter slides in to protect the holes in this part of the filter on the motor. That slides in. And then I snap my cord back in. Put the whole contraption back together. Now your filter, for whichever one you got, most likely will be two-sided. Keep the instructions because that will tell you which direction your filter has to go. In mine, it goes with the black side facing out, but there are some where it goes with the white side facing out. And then your top goes on, and you're good to go. I'm sure you figured this out already, but I don't like to fill it all the way when I first put it down. And even if I did, the water, once it gets sucked through, it'll lower the water. So I always just keep a cup. And fill it all the way. And we have a nice, clean water filter.